It's a common problem when the weather turns cold. Broken water mains send water flowing down the street and leave neighborhoods without water. And now it's about to turn cold once again. And we've already had a few major breaks since the winter began, like this one near the plaza from late November. Nearly a dozen businesses were left without water and many were forced to close. So one reason Kansas City seems to be prone to these types of problems, we're told, is the aging infrastructure. And some of those pipes are older than you think. KSHB 41 News reporter Grant Stevens is live at the spot where a water main break opened up a sinkhole just a few weeks ago. Grant, how's it looking right now? Well, Caitlin, Brian, the before and after on this picture is pretty striking. Cars on top of the asphalt and not sunken underneath it in a massive pool of water. When we were here that night, it was an impressive sight to see how much damage that caused. This is a prime example of the kind of issues the KC Water Department is facing and repairing every day. Winter months bringing cold weather brought an end to dozens of old outdated pipes under Casey's streets. We have uh, over 2,800 miles of water line in the city, of which four, over 476 miles of those are over 100 years old. The one that caused this mess was from the 1800s. It was a huge line that took huge priority. But the city's repair team has halved down 56 workers, so not all brakes get fixed so fast. We have so many brakes, we are literally jumping from brake to brake to brake, so we want to isolate the brakes, get the brakes done, move on to the next one. Separate crews come back in and do the restoration. Director of Water Services Wes Minder says maintenance took a back seat in years past, but a slow stream of rate increases has allowed his crews to do more preventative repairs. We had 1,800 water main breaks a year 10 years ago. Since then, we've replaced 250 miles of water line or about 25 miles a year. We're down to anywhere between seven to 800 water main breaks a year is what we're getting right now. So that's a pretty significant reduction in just a decade. Yes, and that's getting those old lines like this line upgraded. It's not just the lines getting upgrades. Minder hopes to install more sensors that detect breaks before they get bad and plans to modernize an outdated reporting system. So that way future generations uh, won't have the problems that we had a decade ago. That reporting system, which he says could look a lot like the system Evergy uses to report outages and keep track of breaks, could be online within the next couple of months. In Kansas City, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.